Whoa, whoa, my god, guys. You wanted a defense system. How is that for one? It all looks so freaking awesome. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series, where we try to build our very own redstone modern house. Now, I got a lot of awesome suggestions on the last episode, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, guys, I am using the Craze Furniture mod, and I know you guys aren't really happy that I'm using mods because some of you do play on Xbox, but I do want to mention the reason I'm using it is because I'm not that good of a builder like I mentioned in the first episode, so this is definitely helping me out. Also, come on, guys, these appliances and awesome furnitures are just incredible, and I love mods, so why not use it in my own house? Now, if you guys do want me to do another series without mods, I will definitely do that in the future because this is just a test series in a very small house of course but anyways guys let's go ahead and start by working on our living room which one of you suggested and basically on uh, my living room is connected to my kitchen and I know that's a really bad design but yet again it's our first house and I'm just trying to make it the best that I could do without changing too much with the actual structure all right so my living room is gonna be right here on the wall and I'm gonna try not to block my secret room over here but basically I'm gonna go ahead and take the couch from the mod and wrap it around this wall as you can see you could go ahead and make it like an L shape and then once you have that um, I'm gonna place some note blocks down right over here possibly in the corner I'm not sure just yet how this looks and then place a TV in the middle and check that out guys we have freaking villager news going on right now and it looks so awesome and um you know what we can actually sit down on this couch by right clicking and then go ahead and watch some of our TV and you really can't connect the TVs so I can't place like three of them to make them even so what I have to do is just leave one TV by itself and try to decorate the sides of it with a different block and I could possibly do this by adding in maybe a lamp on this side by shift and right clicking and I don't even know how that looks it looks pretty bad to be honest okay so never mind let's go ahead and um, try something else maybe we could get a radio and possibly place it on the side and that might even it out I'm not sure let's go ahead and just um, go ahead and place a stereo and now the stereo is basically a jukebox you could right click to go ahead and activate all the different types of music discs but um yeah i think it looks fairly nice and i could go ahead and add another one to the other side and it looks kind of like speakers so yeah i guess that's pretty cool for now but um uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to add in some more modifications into our living room. Maybe we could um, add in some carpet or something. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and grab a door so we could go ahead and separate this room from the rest of the house. Because I think when the house is connected like this without doors, you really have to try to style the entire house, you know, the same. But if it's separated, I could go ahead and change this room to whatever I like and make it like a completely different color or theme. All right, so... um. Let's go ahead and just grab some carpet over here. There we go, decorative blocks. I want some blue carpet uh, to fit the house, you know, of course, because I want to just have that consistency. And maybe you just place the carpet over here. There we go. And, you know, break that. And, um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty good. I'm not sure. Maybe we could, you know, go ahead and do that and make the couch longer and, um, you know what, that, that's fairly nice, I would believe. And also maybe adding some paintings to make the wall look less plain and bland. I think that looks fine. I'm not sure, but um, at the moment, it's, it's pretty decent. I'm not sure how this one looks, though. And also, I tried to put in my uh, redstone lighting. One of you did mention to add in some sort of redstone lighting with interchangeable kind of blocks, but unfortunately, since the roof is so tiny, I can't really add it in. So this is where I was gonna do it, but I'm actually just gonna do regular redstone lamps. I'm really sorry, but um, you know what? It's quite difficult adding in all that stuff. Now, we'll do it in the next episode, of course, or the next uh, house that we build. Okay, so another decoration we could add into the room is possibly the thing with the anvils and the leaves and I think it looks fairly nice and it could go all the way up to the ceiling and uh, yeah it just adds in um, a lot of uh, interesting contrasts and textures into the map so let's go ahead and do it over here as well and I'm not sure where I would place this across the map but I guess it's just a corner so maybe just over there and over here or possibly on each side of our TV I think it might look cool so let's go ahead and try this out um, Shift and right click. There we go. And um, 
You know what? Maybe break one off the top, and I think that looks pretty interesting, and you know what? Break that one as well. Another idea I had was to extend the counter out over here, and I know this might take up a lot of space, but a lot of houses in real life do have this, and maybe in the middle we could go ahead and place a crafting table, and then possibly some furnaces across the area, but I think um, we already have an oven over here, so it doesn't really matter, and I know uh, some of you guys told me that I needed a furnace in my kitchen, but guys, I actually have an oven, which is going to work as our furnace. As you can see, we can just go ahead and place down our lava bucket or any sort of wooden item in order to kind of um, cook anything that we want. So, um, you know what? Maybe let's go ahead and just add in a furnace right over here just in case. So, uh, you know what? That doesn't really look that good. Never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and just break that. And now we have a lovely kitchen. So, I think it looks fairly nice. We can go ahead and just wrap this around properly so we don't have those edges kind of extruding from it. And also place down our cords back over there and um you know change it back and uh there we go so now we have like a fully connected countertop and it just looks really awesome okay so another thing we could do is possibly add in a coffee table and this is actually floating in midair we can't have that uh what we need to do is just grab a wall block from the bottom and um or from our menu and then add it to the bottom of that coffee table okay there we go all right so i think that looks fairly nice and we have our living room right over here and our kitchen on this section of the wall maybe i want to block it off i'm not sure just yet but um you know what let's go ahead and try that there's really nothing to lose at this point i think it looks a bit too claustrophobic which is one of the reasons why i didn't block it off in the first place i think it's better to just have it open instead of just have it like uh you know blocked off like this okay so maybe you could add in a door over here and it makes it more spacious and also we could um maybe push back the couch one because i don't want it to like touch the door too much so there we go and also we can remove these blocks because they don't really match the house anymore okay so there we go and um okay so let's grab ourselves a door and then place those doors down and see how the house looks. Okay, so that's door number one to our bedroom and to our bathroom. This is to the living room and this is to the kitchen. And also we have like maybe an open section over here. I don't want to block it off yet again because I want the house to feel spacious. And this counter is definitely taking up a lot of space now in this room. And you know what? I want to remove it because it's just, you know what? It's just not going to work with this um, size room. Maybe what we could do is add in a table on the side because of course we need a table for our kitchen yet again very small house i'm the only one living here so we just need a small table on the side or possibly in the middle i'm not sure at this moment but i think on the side is just fine all right so uh, maybe it could just be one uh table over there because i don't want it to be too big that way i can put chairs on each side so let's go ahead and just grab ourselves a chair stone chair and then place it down and um yeah, so there we go. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so what else can we place into this area? We do have curtains and also some blinds. And it doesn't really fit into the house. Also, you guys wanted me to make redstone curtains for some reason. But um, that's way too much work when I already have it in the game using the mod. And how the blinds work and the curtains work is basically I just place it down on one block and then right click to close it. Which is uh, quite nice, but I can't actually do it to two blocks. So it, it's really useless in this house. Unless I want to add it maybe into my bathroom, which I already have done that and i would basically just right click to you know change that but um yeah maybe in the future we can implement this into our house if we're still using mods okay so i found some other items i could possibly add into my countertop to make it look a little bit more realistic we have a plate here on our table that we could add in as well as a chopping board maybe on this side of the um counter and um you know what, it seems a little bit too kind of uh, cluttered, so I, I guess that's okay. So there we go guys, we have our kitchen and our living room, and maybe we could add in anything else in the future if you guys want to see something else. Definitely tell me in the comment section down below, but for now, I think I'm totally out of ideas. Okay, so I think the last thing I want to do in this room is possibly add in some wood on the floor, and I know that's uh, a bit of a contrast from the rest of the house. But I definitely want to add that in because, um, yeah, it just looks really different. Alright, so of course, um, we have our anvils dropping over here. So let's go ahead and just fix that afterwards. And then place down our, um, kind of wooden floor. Oh god, nope. There we go. And, um, 
yeah, I, I think it looks interesting. Possibly too much wood. I'm not sure so far, but maybe you could add it into the kitchen or something. But for now, I think uh, it's good in just the living room. And since it's like a change of floor, I'm going to add in those doors. That way you don't see it and it doesn't look that bad. Okay, so there we go. Let's add in some doors. And now it looks um, pretty decent. Okay, so anvils. Let's go ahead and just grab those yet again. And place it at the bottom of our kind of stand or something. I'm not sure what you would call that. One thing I do want to mention is that I'm in huge trouble when it comes to placing down a redstone torch to open up our secret room. Because our secret room torch is supposed to be placed where the anvil is. And this is just not going to work out, guys. Maybe I need to add it into a different section of the map. Or possibly move it over one. And I might do that offline. But for now, I'm just going to place the anvil there because, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's really no stopping this. Maybe you can, you know, put the torch over there. Nope, you can't do that. All right, so we'll have to find a different way to activate this um, this room over here. Okay, let's go ahead and just um, break this block over here or just place down the anvil and then um, actually place that first and then place down the anvil. All right, so there we go. Our room does look uh, quite nice and symmetrical. I don't know what else to add to be honest. Guys, just comment down below and um, tell me because I'm kind of stuck and I really don't know any other details I could possibly add in. Of course, we do have our ceiling lights area that I do want to add in afterwards, but um, just with the living room itself, I, I have no idea to be honest. Okay, so uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, we have chairs and stuff and just, just things that we really can't add into this area. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and move on to another section of the house, which is going to be our redstone lighting okay so redstone lighting time let's go ahead and try this out and basically I just want to go ahead and just empty my inventory and just grab a bunch of um awesome redstone stuff like a redstone repeater redstone and um, torch as well as a redstone lamp or something where's the redstone lamp it should be right over here god dang it I can't even see where it is Okay, what I could also do is possibly just put daylight sensors on top of it, and that might solve the entire problem. Alright, there we go. I finally found a redstone lamp. And then, um, do that. There we go. And then I could go ahead and place the lamp on the bottom, and hopefully that activates it. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. And, um, hmm. Does that work? Uh, I'm not, I can't really tell, to be honest. Let's go ahead and activate shaders, because... It's quite hard to tell. Okay, so it does work. Um, yeah, that that's pretty easy. I could see it just working at nighttime. So let's go ahead and just place that across our entire map and all of these um holes in the roof. Set it to nighttime. There we go. I finally figured out how to do that. All right, there we go. So there's all of our lights on. Even with shaders, it's freaking so dark. So it doesn't really even matter to be honest. Let's go ahead and just turn that off. There we go. We have an awesome um area that's completely lit up it looks really nice i would say and yeah so it's nighttime as you can see and yeah it's pretty cool okay so the final thing we're going to be working on today is our defense system and a lot of you suggested this so let's go ahead and get started now this is just going to be the first step of our defense system i will be improving it over time just give me some more suggestions because this is really all i could come up with so far it's basically just a rapid redstone um dispenser and basically it would dispense stuff like potions and arrows and fire charges and just a bunch of randomized items i could place it right at the front door because it just fits in quite well and um you know what it's not too secretive i can't really add in yet again a retractable piston system since the roof is so small and i actually barely have any room to add it in so basically i just want to break these blocks over here then break the blocks back here and try to add in the contraption back here where no one can see it and then have the arrows dispense in this area so what i want to do is basically just add in all my redstone up here and then uh, maybe add in some blocks so we could test this out so there we go let's go ahead and just place down full stacks of blocks in there and then test out if this actually gets activated there we go and yeah so basically now what i want to do is just add in my rapid redstone signal which is going to be quite easy basically just add two blocks over here place down two redstone torches on each side and then place down some redstone and there we go it's fairly a simple design that possibly everyone in minecraft knows okay so i'm trying to figure out how we would um apply the signal all right guys so there we go i solved the problem there is our rapid redstone dispenser and it's actually not not lighting up those blocks surprisingly and basically all I needed to do was just add in our redstone over here 
add in a repeater and then have it just connect, which is um, fairly simple. So now all I need to do is just add in um, these blocks back over here to cover it up and just leave that open because there's no way I could fix that. <laughs> All right, so um, to turn this off, we would basically just need to apply a redstone signal to the other side. And I need to find a way to possibly connect this to some sort of wall in our house. That way we could have activated, of course, from the inside and maybe connect it to our bedroom. All right, so I figured out the solution. I just placed on a lever over here and inverted torch that's going to light up the block at the top. And then I could go ahead, flick the torch, activate this redstone and then turn off our signal. Then, um, you know, just block it off. Okay, so that looks fairly decent on the roof it looks horrible but on the inside I guess we could go ahead and just hide it by adding in a quote unquote design into the house and um yeah that looks freaking terrible but you know what I tried my best it's kind of symmetrical so it doesn't really matter and now we could just place down a bunch of randomized items such as arrows and whatnot. All right, so there is our system. Now all we need to do is when we see some zombies is activate our redstone door close it up, run into our bedroom, and then hit this button to activate our rapid redstone dispenser. Oh my god, look at that, the freaking iron golems came out already. <laughs> Holy crap, and um, oh gosh, did they not drop, oh, these are not splash potions, I am really dumb. But basically, you guys get the idea, it's gonna drop down potions of poison, that's gonna help me um, combat some zombies, and actually, I need potion of healing. So yeah, yeah, it's basically how it works. That was just an example. And now we have an iron golem on the top of our roof. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? And um, yeah, so I think that wraps up today's video. It was a bunch of interesting and exciting inventions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section down below. And what the heck is up with my skin? And look at all these arrows. Oh my God. But yeah, anyways, guys, this was Twist and I'll see you later.